Great job on completing all sections. Before we test your knowledge over what you've learned, let's quickly review the four human impacts on the Great Barrier Reef. Number one, humans pollute the Great Barrier Reef. These pollutants stem from fertilizers, pesticides, and waste. Chemicals and pesticides are responsible for killing the coral. These pollutants also cloud the water and make it harder for coral to obtain sunlight for energy. On average, 60,000 pounds of pesticides are leaked into the Great Barrier Reef each year. Number two, pollutants enter the water by the process of runoff. When the soil can no longer hold any more moisture, it overflows. Along with water, this overflow is carrying harmful chemicals. These pollutants are also increasing the amount of crown of thorn starfish in the reef. These starfish feed on coral, causing problems for the reef. Number three, Due to global warming, the temperature is rising, having a negative impact. The algae living in coral gives it its color. When the temperature increases, the algae detach. Since there is no longer photosynthesis present, the coral is bleached and will eventually die. Number four. When humans overfish, they are throwing off the reef's ecosystem. By taking out too many fish, the plankton and small organisms will thrive, and the larger organisms that feed on fish will begin to die off. According to the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, fishing on the reef has doubled since 1995. These fishers are also going into unauthorized areas and risk hitting delicate coral with their boat propellers. They are also to blame for hunting the now threatened dugong species. Now that we have reviewed, it's time to see what you've learned. Question number one, which is not a pollutant? A. Pesticides. B. Sewage. C. Oxygen. Or D. Fertilizer. And the answer is C. Oxygen. Because pesticides, sewage, and fertilizer are all forms of pollutants. Question two. What is runoff? A. Overflow of water. B. Walking away too quickly. C. Too much grass. Or D. A type of pesticide. And the answer is... A. Overflow of water. When the soil can no longer hold more water, it overflows. Question number three. How does the crown of thorn starfish affect the reef? A. It adds color. B. It eats the coral. C. It provides shelter. Or D. It eats fish. And the answer is B. It eats coral. Question number four. What causes global warming? A. Too much sunlight. B. Eating organic foods. C. The Earth's rotation. Or D. An increase of greenhouse gases. And the answer is D. Increase of greenhouse gases. These gases trap the sun's rays, increasing the Earth's temperature. Question number five. What are zoox anthelae? Is it A. A small fish. B. Algae. C, a chemical, or D, an animal from the zoo? And the answer is B, algae. The algae live in the coral and give it its color. Question number six, what is coral bleaching? Is it A, bleach used for clothing? B, when coral loses its color? C, coral growth? Or D, a habitat for fish? And the answer is B. The coral loses its color due to the lack of algae. Question number seven. What do fish feed on? Is it A, sharks, B, water, C, coral, or D, small plankton? And the answer is D, small plankton. Fish eat small organisms such as plankton or sea plants. Question eight. How can boat propellers be dangerous? A, by creating waves. B by breaking coral, C, by creating noise, or D, falling off the boat? And the answer is B, breaking coral. When propellers get in the shallow water with coral, they run the risk of hitting the coral and therefore breaking it. Question number nine, why are dugongs now threatened? Is it A, because of climate change, B, lack of food, C, being caught by fishermen, or D, getting tangled in seagrass? And the answer is C, being caught by fishermen. Fishermen are now poaching these animals, threatening their species. And finally, question 10. Which of these is not a human impact on the reef? A, rainfall, B, pollution, C, climate change, or D, 
overfishing? And the answer is A, rainfall. Pollution, climate change, overfishing, as well as runoff, are all human impacts that have been discussed previously.